For state and local officials, funding education is a top priority and a shared obligation. So you'll often hear disputes between city and state agencies about who should pay what and how much is being spent. The most important thing to remember is that the amount of local property tax that goes toward funding schools is calculated first. Only then does the state determine how much it sends to the district. If local property tax revenue goes up, the amount the state sends to the school district will go down. So when local officials claim that state education spending is being cut, it's usually because local property taxes continue to rise and the state is adjusting its share. It's been this way since the 1940s and education funding formulas have only gotten more complex over time. The solution is not more finger pointing, but rather reforming our school finance system in a way that allows parents, students, teachers, and taxpayers more options to prosper.